Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. I'm your host, Zinlif. Right, I forgot this is a bug if you load a safe game on a turn where you have to select your empire plan. get the screen again and I'm pretty sure it can just input whatever you want you've already paid the influence cost let me just quickly remember what I was doing okay If I remembered the other city with something finished, that would be great. has three forest tiles so no I can't prefer that one I think more about those when the queues aren't as full. Ah, too bad. Off by very little. go up to like 1250 so yeah two and a half turns is fine yes gold give me gold and I got a hero with industry boost free good good Let's see how many governors I still need of that hero, two more, and I sell two more cities, at least for now. 
current price of heroes is 800, that range, okay. And I'm not working any dust at all. Okay. Let's see where this hero is. <laughs> not very far away. Dust, always good. Let's queue up the resources and the tower. I want to see a bit onto the rover terrain. Let's remove the this mode from that saddler. So I don't accidentally forget to move it. He declared war, I'm guessing. Oh no, the truce expired, I see. Give me that construction bonus. Let's see. Which area do I get the next expansion disapproval reduction? Six, I think. Yeah, too bad. So, that won't help me. Now I need something else. I guess. Buying wine is truly the way. Forty-five is what I need. I'm going to need to sell a bit of stuff. Don't care about that. Right of way built here. How much is my trade rate income? Sixty. Could stand to be a bit more. from Rum Rivers. Let's build that here. What level is he? Yeah, it says level one. Okay. Half mystic, half scientist. Sultana is both everything you expected and nothing at all like what you expected. It is fortunate that he communicates with schematics and designs, for when he communicates words, 
much of it sounds like gibberish. Regardless, regardless, the lucidity of his drawing speaks directly to the visions that you have seen. A great base, a soaring tower, a monument for the constructions of the wild walkers, and a place to weather whatever storms Origa may bring. But the techniques and materials are beyond what you know, and it is for this reason that Zoltana must first improve his skill, and then find an ancient site where he can apply that ability. Other reasons that you speak of to no one have also compelled you to fund and staff Sultana's expedition. The more you study the ancient texts, texts, the more your sages and searchers plot and analyze the cycles of winter and the current occurrences of storms, the more you realize that Auriga seems to be on a downward spiral. You do not know where the spiral may lead, but the fate and what the fate of the planet may be, but you are guessing that ruin and devastation will come for those who are not prepared. Natural resource too. Okay, so four levels. Let's find a place for him. Well, here would be nice. don't have roads with them it would be much easier. Okay, great. Let's build up this village as well. Can I get everything finished in a single turn? Yeah. Well not everything but the top three researchers. Yeah, signs and river. One of the techs, that's fairly good with the start. And palladium, however it's called, palladian. Of course, there is an actual element called palladium. Or is there? I'm not sure. again I mean nobly defend myself against them we'll clear out everything neutral in this region so I can settle Running low on titanium again.
Let's see how much it costs. 200 and something. Uh, it doesn't matter. Turn, I think. 12 means 6 burrows. I have 5. Okay, yes. And I guess it doesn't really matter. Here is fine. Here is fine. I could get one more river tile. Hmm, I guess for now I want to increase my approval from city tiles, so I'll go just down the peninsula, let's say. I have roads here, right? Just none that are really helpful. New quest. Arm manual. <laughs> I think I can complete that quest. Those again, right? Those weird red shooting things. Don't think I even need the militia. Want to get more XP on the units I can use regularly. here. No rivers that I can see. on the titan bones. Seems good enough. More trade routes next turn. Yeah, I need to grow in those cities so I can build more burrows. one too. And if I really think about it here as well. <laughs> did I queue up that one? I th don't think I did. I 
after the granary. Yeah, after the granary I can... No, I can't because I don't have the titanium. Although there's a lot of things I can't do. Yeah, for a dust heavy region, that would be fine. I think this one has some dust, yeah. This one as well. Which one has more valuable resources though? Gold is good for the maintenance reduction, and Palladian is also good. Probably going to need more Palladian than Adamantian. And I think I have other deposits of tit titan modes. No, I don't have that many as I thought. I have more gold than titan bones in total. Well, it's not like I can can't switch, I mean reassign heroes, so... Let's see how much dust there is. I think it takes one turn to actually update the screen. Desperately need titanium as well. Ah, oh, that's fine. Finished an error. For the longest time I wasn't aware that this fanfare invented you researched a new era. Just when it was part of the background music for some reason. Oh a lot of those resources, that part is good. I usually don't have that many, or actually I think this is the first time I've discovered five of them. When I reached era 4 or 5 it is, I think 4. Yeah. Dust Orchid, very happy about that. Pigs of Blood, don't care that much. Did I discover something here? <laughs> One mid-fright, that's fair. On the other one here. No, this one's mid-fright. Oh no, this one is Hyperion. One hand, I want production line. On the other one, I want 
mining rights to really get my strategic resources going. This one is also interesting for us, I think. Of course, this one always. Food, food. And army slots is great. Let's go with mining rights first. That's what I seem to be lacking the most. And after that, let's get Dust Orchid going and then the strategic resources and I suppose then production line and food. Yeah, definitely the one on exploitation first. I can just queue up that. I'll build it in this order so I get one benefit immediately. Caravan Sarah here as well. Resources here. Hydro wheel is good. Could settle on that directly <laughs> and start with a line like this. That's fine. Better to settle early than to have Teal swoop in and steal the region. Sign that one? Oh no, I own this level the skills. Yeah, um, that's a bit silly by me. Tiles, river tiles, both are good. Going 
to need to finish a few buildings, so I can afford this when the next round of Empire Plans comes along. Do we want to settle this already? Oh great. I'm sure I'll have fun with those guys. See, is the terrain? No, I think that's just the apprenticeship thing, yeah. So no base industry and terrain. So canal systems are not recommended. Can get very cheap dust regs though. For for just yeah, for just is alright I guess. And six dust with that tile. So if we actually wanted to calculate some kind of return on investment. I suppose some twenty turns. That case this has a much higher <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, grass silk is not that useful. just want to finish this one next turn and get the opportunity to grow to 14 so I can get another burrow uh, everything grow fine here as well and the question do I want to settle immediately it's going to be seven and a half Disapproval? Everywhere. Hmm. And as soon as I get my tech, I'll actually start getting a Purim here, which is very nice. is fine. Let's make it a bit more. And buy out two villages. Just to get the construction rate a bit up here. Ah, uh, I'll leave that region empty for now.
Huh. Not sure if that battle is actually progressing or if it's stuck. Well, it's a good point to end the episode, and for the next one I'll have this resolved. Thanks for watching.